You might have noticed some new tall, colorful, modern apartments that stand out on Arden Way, sporting balconies, a pool, and a playground. City leaders say these affordable housing units are a major step in the right direction for North Sacramento. This is a great addition to the community. Uh, it brings more foot traffic. It's going to be great for the businesses. So a win-win uh, situation uh, for all. Three, two, two one. one. The Salvatore Apartments by Community Housing Works have 120 total units and are already at full capacity. Developers call it a sustainable, transit-oriented community because of its participation in SMUD's Smart Home Pilot Program and its access to the city's Royal Oaks light rail station. One woman who moved in with her two children calls having the opportunity to live in this complex a blessing. I've been here and I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders, you know? Um, I finally feel okay, I feel safe, I can afford it, my kids can go outside and play. This is a perfect community for mothers like myself. The complex is located in District 2 and is partially funded by a group of state entities like the California Housing Finance Agency and the Tax Credit Allocation Committee as well as Bank of America. District 2 Council Member Sean Lalowey says it comes at just the right time. Well, as we can see, uh, the cost of living is going up on a daily basis. I mean, we're, we're still in the midst of a, a huge inflation that we're dealing with. Gas prices are high and uh, it's becoming tougher and tougher. So to have affordable housing plays a very important role uh, to make sure that individuals, residents of Sacramento can have sustainable uh, living. Developers say this is just the beginning of what local government leaders need to put forward to solve the state's housing crisis. There were over 2,000 applicants for the 120 units here. It speaks to the need in this community as well as across the state. Reporting in North Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News.